Hello everyone and welcome to day two of this half term recorder course where we're going to go over most of the notes on the recorder and learn how to play some really cool tunes in just one week. So let's just have a quick recap of what we did on day one. We did the notes B, one finger and thumb, A, two fingers and thumb and G. Three fingers and thumb. Now we're going to keep learning some notes just using this hand and then tomorrow we'll go on to using our right hand. So we're going to learn two notes today and these are C and high D. So let's start by doing our high C. So first of all we're going to find our A fingering. Two fingers and the thumb at the back. Make sure they're pressed down. Play your A to check that you can get the note out. And then what you're going to do is, is you're simply going to lift your top finger off like this. So we've got our A and then to make our C we don't move anything apart from our top finger and we take it off like this. We keep our thumb on the back and that big finger on the second hole and it should sound like this. So have a go, play a few C's like this. Remember to make that t sound in your mouth as you're playing as well. Now, high D is even easier. So we find our A fingering again. We find our C fingering. And then for high D, we simply take our thumb off. So it's the same as C, but our thumb is now off this back hole. So it's the only note we've learnt so far where we take the thumb off the back hole. So let's try it again. Let's find our A, two fingers and thumb. Take your top finger off. You've got your C and we're going to take our thumb off a D, so you should only have this big middle finger on with your other thumb balancing there. So let's have a go at that one. Super, so now we're going to have a go at going C, D, C, D, so have a go. And when you're feeling confident, do it a bit quicker. Try doing it as quick as you can and as slowly as you can. Experiment and make sure you're really confident with getting your C and taking the thumb off to get the D. So let's just go through all the notes we know so far, all five of them. We've got B, A, G, C, a, take your top finger off, take your thumb off high D. So, now we're ready to learn a tune by a very famous composer called Beethoven. Now, Beethoven wrote a really, really famous piece of music, and it's his fifth symphony. And what I'll do is I'll put a little link to it in the comments box, it's really famous. Listen to the first few bits of it and you'll be able to hear why, and I'm sure you'll recognize it straight away. Beethoven also wrote another famous piece called Ode to Joy, and this is from his Ninth Symphony. It comes right at the end. It's a big, big piece, lots of the orchestra playing really loudly and lots of people singing. It's a really fun piece. So we're gonna learn how to do that today on the recorder. So it just shows with even five notes, you can play a piece by composed by Beethoven. It's amazing. So I'll play it for you once. This is O to Joy and I'm going to play it again and the notes are going to come up a bit slower and you can try practicing along. Now we're going to do that again, the notes are going to come up on the screen and we're going to do it really slowly, so try playing along super slowly.
done. You've done really, really well. Now, we're going to do it one last time, a tiny bit quicker. What you can do is you can pause the video, maybe you can write the notes down at home if it's a bit too fast and you can keep practicing it in your spare time.